It's Movie Time is produced by John DeSando. See the shows and read reviews online at wcbe.org. I'm John DeSando. I'm Wayne Miller. This is It's Movie Time. Yep, it is. And it's time for me to book out for the forest. Oh, I'm you. feeling my survivalist. Well, I, 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 you kind of look like Jungle Jack Hammond. <laughs> yeah, I know. This is the I, I could get to costuming up for today's <laughs> movie. <laughs> but, John, you don't take safaris <laughs> in the American Northwest like you do in Sub Saharan uh, Africa. Well, all right. But, Leave No Trace stars Ben Foster yes. as a PTSD. Dad from Iraq, yep. uh, who wants nothing to do really with civilization. Yeah, not at all, even when he's given the chance. And you keep rooting for them, thinking, stay there a little while. These people care about you. But can you pull that up? See, can you pull it toward you? I'm just worried it's not gonna. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Good enough. How's that? All right. Okay. I think that does it. Yeah. Uh, but, but. In your written review, uh oh, that's see, on WCB. let's tell our fans that usually we don't know what each of us thinks of a movie. Unfortunately, oh. I published mine, so now I'm a target. Oh, you are, <laughs> but I liked it. And you said something that I really agree with. With this, uh, in your review, you stated that uh, Tom, the daughter, yes, is the daughter. Anybody would be proud. To have you got it, as boy. a daughter, a niece, oh, you know, yeah. whatever. What a this young lady, and she's from New Zealand, and she's flawless in her performance. And of course, it's the same um, director as Winter's Bone right. that was which shot um, about eight nine years ago, I believe. Right. Um, uh, Jennifer Lawrence. Well, I uh, think Thomas and Mackenzie's on her way. Uh, she's much lower key than Jennifer Lawrence. Yes. Uh, yes, but it works perfectly when she and her dad are out in the Oregon forest. Uh, everything is kind of low key. Yep, they survive. Yes, yes, and and what it kind of brings them to the attention of the authorities is that she's out and uh, some jogger sees her yeah. and probably reported her. But wow, this young lady, I bet. She's polite. She has manners. She says thank you and please. She's resourceful. Uh, she's smart. She's inquisitive. And she's great with animals. When the uh, social worker interviews her and tests her, yes. uh, she's way ahead in her reading. Yes. And here she has had no formal schooling. Yes. You know, it's basically homeschool. I guess you would call it forced schooled rather than homeschooled <laughs> yeah. you know, by her dad. But. Uh, Really, you know, and uh, her performance, like you say, it's low key. But later in the movie, you could see her really uh, about the only. And this is uh, the whole movie's very low key, and uh, everybody's very. They're good people, you know. There's no, you know, there. Uh, these people, even the bureau, uh, you would think thoughtless bureaucrats, want to help this family. You know, this uh, father. And daughter, it makes you wonder whatever happened to the mom. But anyhow, uh, she she wants to stay, and she uh, and later in the movie, and she really starts getting a little upset with her dad. It wasn't when they were outside that they had left; it was before. And she wants to stay there. She wants, and and she could work well. She could, uh, you could kind of tell how well uh, that she could socialize with people, even though that she's led such an isolated life. Well, she has. There's a there's a tension. It, one of the major conflicts here is between his desire to be asocial and her desire to be social. It's never really rabid as far as she's concerned. She yes. just as she begins to be introduced to society. I mean, they have to go into town to get supplies, for yes. instance. Uh, when they get caught, they're going to be replaced. And she does meet people, and you can see how much she is enjoying her social interaction. Now you asked about the wife. What do you think? Oh, yeah. With this guy, well, this guy doesn't br crack a smile. No, I think well, the wife was out of there once he came well, back. Well, out of there or died, you never find out. Right. And I think that's one of the things that's very good. They, eat. a lot of stuff's not really spelled out. It leaves a lot to the imagination, which is uh, a hallmark of good storytelling. Yes, and uh, uh, the backstories on these people. Yes, you want. You know, it's funny. This is something I'd like to see a sequel to when it comes to her and how well she does. That's a great but point. But the, um, uh, the director, Deborah Granick, 
He did Wetter's Road. Yeah, this is and, where you got it. And she uh, co-wrote it with, I think, an Ann Rossellini. You got one it. Of the script yes. writers yep, too. Yep. Both of them worked on Winter's Bone. Yeah. And a lot's made in a lot of the reviews I read about the movie, uh, comparing it to Winter's Bone. I, I kind of compare it more to some other recent movies, totally different, like uh, uh, A Quiet Place, a family living off yep. the grid. Yep. And a daughter who wants to have some sort of normal life and then gets the family unit in trouble. And, uh, and another one that we were talking about before we started taping, the um, uh, 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 Escape, oh, uh, They Come at Night. Yes. Another family living we, off the grid and totally different movies. You know what, I think, I think uh, Johnny and I have to do a show in Cinema Classics on this family motif. Yes. Which even in the yeah. heroic films now, the superhero films, you have the, this constant need to get back to family. Yes. Uh, skyscraper. Uh, the the, the oh, recent well, one with yeah, the rock. Right. Yeah. But which it's, uh, uh, and going back 30 years, um, um, the Bruce Willis one, Die Hard. The, very, yes. you know, the whole family, you know, getting back to the yes. family and the importance of the family, which yeah. I think is good. It gives us... Uh, uh, the, uh, the viewer and I, it, a, a way of identifying and caring about the people, and I, uh, because we all have families, and and uh, in certain degrees, all of our families can be dysfunctional. Yes. <laughs> you know, and <clears throat> and I'm I'm intrigued by the fact that that they are they have actually they're outlaws for yeah. the small reason that you cannot live in a state forest. Yes. It's against the law. Yes. So yeah. otherwise, when you see them, you say, this is not bad. This is, well, the whole film is, as you hinted, minimalist. Yes. So you're not going to get overwhelmed by dialogue or even by circumstances or by any jumps in, you know, or any new, uh, any, anything new to impinge upon them. It just moves very slowly and very inexorably. Mm -hmm. And uh, nothing, I, you want to talk about horror films, nothing could be more horrifying than dogs coming after you. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, you know, here we thought, they can hide anywhere in this forest. No. no. You the dogs, oh. yeah, yeah, the dog. The dogs and uh, their law enforcement handlers. I know, will, I know. Will literally sniff you out like pigs <laughs> sniffing out a truffle. <laughs> yeah, and, and I think it's, it's so true what I like about this film is that the, the underclass, yep. the working class, yep. is very favorably presented. I mean, they're not frequently not often presented no. anywhere. No. So here they're presented favorably. Yep. They're willing, helping people. Uh, and these these two outlaws are not treated like... They're treated like human beings whom they could love and they could see that the, the girl needs to be brought in to the social fold. Well, and you could see where with some other movies, uh, some of these characters, it would kind of verge off to like a thoughtless bureaucrat working with them. Right, or right. the girls in the little uh, home that she was placed in. <coughs> Excuse me. The home she was placed in that you think, oh, are these going to be mean girls to her? No, they were typical teenagers. Uh, she bonds with some young guy who takes her to his 4-H meeting. Oh, with the little rabbits? The, with the bunnies. And, and that, how about the bees? Yes, yes. I love that little sequence. About, yes, you know, and uh, so uh, what's so cool is her able, in a very low-key but realistic way, of uh, bonding with people. And one character... Because I think even the supporting characters, they're almost, it kind of reminds me of some of the uh, Euro uh, European, the Italian neorealism that they would use uh, real uh, people to portray. And they get this authenticity with their performances. Well, I think Dana Milliken, for instance, as Jean, I think that I, I think she is is the uh, is the lady who uh, interviews them. The yes. social service yes. is very good. Yes. Well, one that I want to bring out, and I don't think she's on your list there, but she should be. Uh, her name's Dale, the very weathered-looking old oh, woman. Oh, yes, with the long the, hair. Yes, oh. uh, played by an actress, a great character actress, and I've seen her in a number of films. Dale Dickey is her name. And she played, if people would remember, Winter's Bone. 
she played That's right. the very mean yes. matriarch so of the family the opposite that basically roller. gets with Jennifer Lawrence the crap beaten out of her. <laughs> and, but here, uh, she, she's very good. And you would hope, and you get the sense near the end of the movie that uh, finally uh, Tom has found a home and somebody to, to take care of Yes. Her. Well, Wayne Miller, the yes. film is... Leave no trace. Yes. Now, I have left plenty of trace about what I think about this film, and I have awarded it an A, yeah, and I'm going to stand that. by that. Oh, I <laughs> don't blame you. I give it an A, too. Oh, wonderful. It was su <laughs> superb filmmaking and had a level of suspense that of uh, real life. Yes. Yeah. I, and I, you know, I think I'm going to go out and forage for fit. I'm going to look under rocks and <laughs> <laughs> and I don't think grubs. I'm ever going to wear this outfit again. <laughs> uh, well, I know, but yeah, well, at the Columbus Zoo, it fit right in. <laughs>